Hey guys, it's Pure Under Ice Cream Bar. So this is gonna be slightly different from my usual time-lapse wig tutorial kind of thing. Mostly because I forgot to film a lot of it, so yay! So you're gonna have to be looking at my face for part of this, and I am so sorry. I just wanna say before we get started, if you like my work, if you like seeing these kinds of videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. And it's definitely support from you guys that makes me able to make these videos and make these projects come together. So thank you for everyone who is subscribed and who supports me or is just even considering supporting me. Thank you so much and let's get into it. Here is the finished wig and you can yeah, you can see all around. So there's a couple different colors in here, and um, I wanted to make this wig pretty much to test a couple different things. I got some new dye colors that I wanted to play with. This is the first time I've used pre-processed hair. Bought it and used it, and it was kind of nice. I'll say that. It was nice to go straight to the dyeing process of the hair, but it was so expensive I don't think I will be doing that again for at least a very long time. Other than that, there were also some different things I was trying when I was making this wig. Uh, most notably, a different way of making the cap, and I will talk more about that probably a couple weeks from now. I don't want to talk about it right now, because I don't know how sturdy it's going to be, and I want to make sure that it holds up, because I don't want to tell you guys, oh my gosh, this is a different way of doing it, and then it falls apart like a week later. That would be very sad. So I just went ahead and quickly put this wig into two little buns on the top of his head, mostly to show you guys that um, the, the awesome part about alpaca wigs is that they're very versatile, so you can actually style them in different kinds of updos without actually having to have them always be in an updo. Now, of course, if you have a wig that you make to specifically always be in an updo, it's going to look a little bit better than this. Um, also, if you spent more time doing the hairstyle, it'll look a little better than this. And I didn't even make this wig, really, to go from updo to down. I knew I wanted it to mostly be down, so I wasn't super careful with it. But you can see that um, here is the, the front of the lace, which to me, it kind of just looks like baby hairs. It doesn't bother me too much. It's like wearing a uh, lace front wig if you are a human, right? This one got a little damage. I don't actually know what that's from, but uh, but you can see like how on this side um, I put hair under the actual wig cap, so when you see it, it looks like it's coming more up from from under rather than you know showing an, an actual piece of wig cap. So yeah, that's kind of how that um, came came all came together. And I mentioned that just because a lot of people were talking about can you do this kind of updo or that kind of updo, and I just wanted to show you, you can, even with uh, the way I've been making them before, you can totally do this kinds of updos. Um, but definitely in making this and thinking about updos, there's a wig that I want to make that is an updo that would always be stuck in that shape but I think it would be pretty cute, so. Forthcoming. Anyway, the making of this wig, basically I wanted to try a couple new things, like I said with the wig cap, trying new stuff, uh, using a net fabric as opposed to a stretch jersey, um, using less glue in the making of the wig cap, which was because I wanted to actually try rooting hair in the net fabric, which I started and it was just taking way too long for me to feel like it was feasible to even show you guys or that any of you would actually want to do. So I started rooting, I got a patch that was probably like half an inch before I just decided to do it my old fashioned way. And I went ahead and did that and I started to run out of hair toward the end. I didn't really have any other hair that compared to this hair in like lengthwise, so I couldn't really add anything else. So that kind of stinks. So I can't really add too much hair to this anymore, but I think it came out pretty nicely and I am very excited to let you guys know how well this holds up. This wig at this point is probably about a week old, so I'll just kind of hang on to it, throw it around, let it get beat up a little bit more, and see how well it holds together. So I hope you guys like this wig. I'm sorry I don't have that much else to say about it. Um, it was definitely a big experiment, as was my 
wig prior to this. This one, of course, is a little more finished than that last one. Uh, hopefully the next wig will not be so much of an experiment, except it might be because there's a lot of things that I'm experimenting with right now, so we'll see. But I will try and talk more in depth about the actual putting it together process next time because this time I just don't have that much to show you and I'm so sorry about that. But thank you guys for watching and I will talk to all of you later. Thanks! Bye!